Hi, this is Shana. Welcome to my channel. And we are doing the weekly update today. And we're going to see the energy surrounding you this week. To find this out, please pick one of these files. We have file number one with this beautiful magic stone. I think it's the universe stone, something like that. Yes. And then we have this one. And this one over here. So then please take your time to choose your pile. And you can pause the video if you like. And I will see you in the next couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. So pile number one. What are the energies surrounding you this week? We're going to start with the oracle cards and then we'll be moving. We're doing it the other way around. We're going to start with the tarot cards and then we'll be moving to the oracle cards. So let's start. Uh, we have, first of all, the nine of wands. Then we have the sun. And death. Now, this is quite, quite interesting. This is a big transformation coming up this week. And you may even feel this, that, you know, something is going to happen. But I think it's like it's going to be more of a, a, an inner transformation in your case. And uh, this is something huge going on. It's like you're shedding your skin. There's something changing within you and around you as well as a consequence. And but this is something is a cause of joy, actually. It's a feeling of being reborn. It's a feeling of um, rediscovering yourself, coming back to your path, you know, coming back to your calling, coming back to who you really are. And uh, you, you know, you, I have the feeling that you, pal number one, have been through this transformation journey. Uh, for a long time already, and it can be that it may seem exhausting. So again, a transformation, or again something, you know, shedding or leaving behind, or whatever may be the case. And this may feel a bit tiring for you, but it's something that you know it's also necessary, and it, it just happens. And I think, like with the sun here, is like telling you the the um, the more positive you are towards this transformation, the more open you are towards this, this transformation, the better. And this is actually quite positive. Death, of course, we always are afraid of the card death, but death is really the, like the, the underworld, right? And like this subconscious transformation again, something that goes really deep, almost like on a cellular level, a big transformation. And this you kind of rediscovering yourself. And with the sun here, it's really this rediscovering the more positive side of yourself, rediscovering that you are made out of light, that you're made out of both, of shadow and light. But maybe you've been lingering in the shadow for quite long, you know, working your shadow self, integrating it, loving it. But now it's time to come back to the surface, so to say, and face the light. So what I see here is also like really good news coming your way. And um, oh, I see. OK, sorry. <laughs> Just got an insight there. Um, really good news coming your way. And it's also like showing you the path. But then this path or your true path has also to do with work, has also to do with determination, with investment on your part. And this may leave you a bit like, oh, no, you know, like, you know, it, it can you can associate it with being depleted, with uh, putting more effort in or more effort than you get back. But the sun is telling you, no, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be great. It's a big transformation. This decision will really like kind of transform your life, be it in a more, you know, private, intimate way, you know, like in your inner self or be it in a more manifesting way in your 3D world. But whatever it is, it's a big transformation and it's going to be quite positive. And you're going to start seeing things more clearly, 
So this week you're going to have you're going to have a very clear mind and you're going to start calling things by name in the sense of, you know, whatever has been troubling you, whatever kind of baggage you've been carrying, whatever trauma uh, is still unsolved within you, you're going to start to call it by name. And the moment you call it by name, you have control over it. Okay. That's why in the magic circles, if you know the true name of something, then you have control over it. And that's the same thing with your subconscious. Okay. Or with your more and more like deeper psychological levels. If you have the name, if you can call it by name, then you have more control. And I think this week is going to be amazing when it comes to that. You know, you get more control over your own psyche, over your own self. And uh, it's going to be actually a very joyous moment. It's going to be a moment of power. Okay. Now, um, then we have number 14, ride the wave. And the wishing well. So quite interesting here. Uh, we have ride the wave. It's ride the wave is really flow with it. But it's also asking you to have the courage. If you find your path, if uh, you have like an offer or is a decision for a better life, for a more fulfilling life for you, ride the wave, go with it. Start surfing. Some of you will start to learn surf as surfing as well, which would be fun. But it's like, go with it. Have the, the courage and just ride the wave and see where it takes you. You know, it's really inviting you to be playful. That's why we have here the, the um, dolphins. You know, be playful, be positive. Also here with the sun. He, and you see, it may take you to your wishes coming true. And and even for some of you, start wishing new things, things that have more to do with yourself. You're going to be more in tune with what you really want. And it's time, you know, everything you've been wishing for, it's time to realize you can make it come true. So just go with it. And of course, first it starts with the intention, with thinking, with visualizing it, and then feeling it. And then you feel this impulse of taking those steps and then when you take steps opportunities start to come up and then you have to have the guts of following through and this is what the dolphins are telling you you're going to have this courage you're going to be brave and follow your own path the other thing we have here door to spirit for some of you this week this will really be like a spiritual revolution and that's why we have the sun and death over here and it's really, you're going to start a new practice. You're going to meditate more for some of you. Some of you are going to get more acquainted with magic. And we've been speaking about magic this whole time here. So it really can go in that direction for some of you. But it's like you're going to feel more connected and you're going to start a new program, a new discipline. You're going to feel more inspired of following that path of going in, you know, through that journey, through that door. And it's going to be very enriching. It's going to be very fulfilling for you. And some of you would even start like a mediumship or you start deepening your mediumship, a mediumship skills as well. So now let's see what are your energies when it comes to your love life. So what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number one. When it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding this week? Well, it'd be more focused in finances and career. So you're going to be more focused on that part of your life. And, um, and maybe you're not paying that much attention to your love life this week. And like I said, there are things that are coming up this uh this week where you know you could be calling things by name maybe they're like experiences of past lovers or with past lovers or you know romantic experiences and and things that probably hurt you things that probably because we have the nine of ones over there you will be afraid of as well uh or made you i'm explaining this wrong 
like could be past experiences that made you fearful of a romantic future for some of you. And it's time to clean this up. It's time to heal. It's time to let it go. And I think this week you're going to, to achieve this, you know, or at least to take like really big steps in order to achieve it. Yeah, it's really make the effort. And you're making the effort, and we have here, bottom of the deck, free yourself. You're making the effort to free yourself. You're making the effort to be free, to be independent. And in case then someone comes along your way, especially for those of you who are single, then to be open, you know, and to be free and to have um, a positive mindset when it comes to love and relationships. If you are in a relationship, so both of you will be more focused on your finances at the, at this time. And if there was any argument, maybe there were even arguments concerning finances, you are able to heal it this week and to find a compromise. You both, if you both, you know, make this effort. Let's see if we have any two more cards. Whoops. There. Here we have someone else. Interesting. And what else? For pile number one. This someone else here, I'm getting a vibe. Yeah, a perfect memory. Okay. And I'll get another card. Just for your pile number one. Ah, there you go. Unlikely friends. Well, with someone else, this has many meanings. And uh, so please remember, like, you're different people watching this. So it could be different scenarios. So one of them is like someone else. It's like it's someone else that is different from your patterns or someone else that's different from everyone in your past, you know, and um, but because we have memory and unlikely friends. So this someone still in your memory, you know, this even if you're in a relationship, you're still thinking about someone else because there's this like frozen in time, this perfect memory and uh, and uh, but you're actually very different from one another but it's like what i see here is the romanticizing a situation where it was fun it was light and so this image is still lingering in the dark but for some of you this could be really someone else coming in into your life um but i'm getting here that is you're still haunted by someone from the past doesn't have to be something horrible. It could be like even like a safe place you can fall back to, you know, when the world outside gets too harsh. For some of you, if you are having difficulties with your partner, you know, it's it's not uh, difficult to understand, you know, if you start thinking about someone else with whom you had a wonderful past, you know. But uh, this is quite normal to these situations, to these relationships. It can happen. There's no judgment. It's just, you know, for you to understand, are you just romanticizing the past or, you know, are you really needing someone else in your life? This is the question, you know, but um, either way, you working on healing yourself, you're working on healing your relationship if you're in one and things will become better, you know, uh, because you're both willing to do so. So pile number one, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you and that wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. Now, what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number two. So we're starting with the tarot cards and then we'll move on to the oracle cards. So first of all, we have the two of swords. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. Very interesting because we're starting here. Oh, I see. Sorry, I just looked at the Oracle cards and that gave me the overview. I'll show them in a second. Because I find this card really interesting. And this is the two of swords, right? But here, like it's common, it's like the two swords in front of the heart, but the heart is here. You see, 
is being held here, but she's not seeing it because she lost connection to her own, her own heart. And what I see here is probably you're starting the week, and I just saw one, one, one. So probably you're starting the week feeling a bit, you know, I wouldn't say lost or confused, but it's like indecisive and not really having that connection to your own heart where you know exactly what to do. The good news is that this is changing now and you're going to have a very pragmatic approach to your life and to yourself and to your talents. And you're going to be very grounded. And the more you ground yourself, the more you get connected to your heart. Now you can ask, well, yeah, to ground ourselves, this is very easy to say, but what does it mean? It's really, I'll, I'll just give you how I feel it, okay? And uh, if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But how I see it is when you ground yourself, it's like you're in the present moment. You're in the here and now, you see? And it's like when you're washing the dishes, you're washing the dishes. When you are driving, then you are driving. When you're walking, then you're walking. But it consequently, you know, it's not doing one thing and uh, your mind is somewhere else, you know, where you don't have connection to your body because your mind is probably listening to a podcast, see? But it's not in the present moment. And um, I also love to do that, you know, to do the the house chores while listening to other stuff. Because I love to learn, for instance. My mind has to be busy at all times. But the problem with it is while the mind is busy uh, learning, then you lose connection to the body. So you need the silence in order to be at the, pro the in the present. You know what I mean? I hope this makes sense to you. And another thing, because it's grounding, is like the, you know, going for this earth thing movement uh, and that means like you know to really feel your feet on the ground and if it's outside if the weather permits it then you know really have your bare feet uh, on the grass or on the on the ground on the earth and really to recharge and feel alive you know just hold a tree or hug a tree, yeah. So really feel connected to the world around you and be there in the present, you know, in the moment there. Really feel it. How does it really feel to do the dishes? How does it feel to dust? You know, like go through the senses. That's what I mean. <clears throat> and and then, like I said, there's nothing wrong with busy in your mind with other information. I love that. But there are moments where you need to be present completely present so and these are the cards are saying if you're going through this kind of um, you know situation where you cannot decide or you don't feel connected you don't feel inspired you feel stuck you find it difficult you know to work from the heart or to talk from the heart then it's time to really ground yourself and the thing is, it's really good because it's this you're going to achieve this, you know, going through whatever method you find more appropriate. Then we have here the Queen of Pentacles. With the Queen of Pentacles, then she empowers you. She's the matriarch. She's a mother figure. So maybe we even get like um, inspiration from a mother figure or you get advice from a mother figure or uh, someone supports you. You know, there's a lot of support coming your way. And this is like is empowering you and you'll then know you're in the on the right track. You are doing what you're supposed to be doing. So the doubts that you've been having or this feeling of uh, not getting anywhere is just in your head because actually you're this queen of pentacles. So you're doing the right thing and you're going the right way and then the moment you realize this, you're full of energy and you're ready to go. And this is really a new start. So this week, you're coming back to your power. You're re-empowering yourself and you're ready to start anew. You're ready to give another try. You're ready to conquer the world once more. So often until you do it completely. <laughs> but let's see what the Oracle cards have to say. Look. Look. We have spark. We have spark. And then we have coming to life. There you go. So 
this week is really the, reins the inspiration. I was going to say re-inspiration. Yeah, it makes sense. So you're getting that inspiration again. You're going back to your roots. You're going back to who you really are. You're coming back to life. If some of you have been ill and uh, or you have been isolating yourself, this week you're coming out again. You are you know, meeting people or you're going back to work or you're doing things that you love. And this is the spark. Oh, okay. This is our answer for you to come in this um, queen of pentacles energy. Do what you love, you know, do something creative. It doesn't even have to create, to be creative. Some of you, it will be, oh, I'd love to do math equations and solve mathematical problems. For instance, then do it. Others of you love to be, you know, to walk with your dogs, do it, whatever it is, do what you love. You know, and if it's uh, talking to your friends, do it in order to get that spark, to reignite it, to restart it. Yeah. And and you're doing it this week here with this coming to life and the uh, and the fool. You at the end of the week, you have so much power, so many ideas. You kind of feel unstoppable by then. And you probably will be. And it's going to be amazing. And I'm really happy for you. And then, look, we have caring connections. So this could be also that some connections are getting restarted. You know, it doesn't have to be that someone, um, you know, like a past lover is coming back. Maybe for some of you, this is true. But this could be, you know, like getting again in contact with your friends, with family, with, and we have the mother figure here. Uh, so like, getting in touch again with the people that matter most with you and probably they would call you all of a sudden unexpectedly. So maybe you've been feeling ostracized or separated from the group or unwanted for some reason. And like I said, sometimes these things are just in our heads, you know, because we're more sensitive or we misunderstood some of the messages. And this week, this is going to be sorted out and you're going to be feeling included you're going to be feeling loved and uh, you're going to be feeling empowered like I was saying by your community by the people you care the most and this is going to give you wings you know this is going to inspire you to new heights it's going to be really the wind uh, under your sails not beneath your sails or beneath your wings I'm sorry <laughs> I'm not English. These expressions sometimes are tricky. It's the wind, the wind beneath your wings. Yeah, something like that. So, but that's how you're going to feel. And this is really, really beautiful. And and like love connections also are going to take the main stage and in a very positive light. Like I said, there's a fire that's being reignited here. And if you don't have a partner and if you're single, probably is also this willingness and this openness for a new relationship you know what probably didn't have until now but now you're ready and you open for it so and speaking of which let's see what are the love energies for you pile number two let's see what are whoop, one just flew just give me a second oh there you go so we have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner, you see. <laughs> File number two, and look, it's a soulmate. So if you're wondering if someone you met is like the one, the answer is yes. And look, it is safe for you to love. Isn't that amazing? It is. I love it. So there's not much to say. This could be your partner right? Or this could be someone you met at a party or through friends or, you know, a long-time friend, whatever the case, we have different scenarios. But um, yeah, this could be the one. I think if you haven't met this person yet and you don't know what I'm talking about, probably you'll meet this person this week. But let us get two more cards to see if we have more information here. So... Yeah, it's also here with safe for you to love. It's like you're all more open now. And look, what the wow, it's amazing. It's new love coming in. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. 
But to have decisions, decisions. Yeah, you have to be open. You have to be open for this relationship. But it could be that there are also other decisions here involved. Again, like I said, this is not a private reading. This uh, can involve many scenarios. But it's like feeling safe again and ever unfolding. Oh, wow. Yeah. So pile number two. Things are unfolding for you this week. If you felt stuck, well, you're getting unstuck. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. So pile number two, I wish you all the best. I wish you a wonderful week. And let me know, you know, if it really resonates with you. I love this vibe. And um, yeah, have a wonderful time. Full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number three... This is your reading. So pile number three, what are the energies surrounding you this week? We're starting with the tarot cards and then we'll move on to the oracle cards. So first of all, we have Ace of Swords. Then we have the Six of Swords. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Oh, wow. So, pile number three, this is really a very important week for you. Even if this is just minor arcana, but it's not a minor week for you because there's a decision to be made. It's like all of a sudden, or maybe it's not even all of a sudden, it probably will feel like all of a sudden, but you've been working at this for a long, long time. But suddenly it's like everything makes sense. Everything is clear. Uh, crystal clear, sorry for that, and you just know exactly what to do in a given situation. And because the Six of Swords is following it, so this tells us that the situation you're getting clarity about isn't an easy one. And that's why you need the sharpness of the sword. The sword cuts. There's something here that needs a proper cut. There's something here that needs a very clear decision. And this could be anything, right? It doesn't have to be life of de or death decision, of course not. But it's something that has been in you know, kind of troubling you and, and suddenly it becomes very, very clear. You know exactly what to do and you'll do it as well. So because the path is then so clear, there's, you know, there's no doubt in your mind. The obstacles are not obstacles anymore because you know exactly what to do. And with the Six of Swords, yes, so you're coming out of a difficult situation um, and of course, the level of difficulty depends on your personal story. Remember, this is like a, a collective reading, but you're coming out of it, of difficulties. You, you're coming now this week into a sense of relief, into a sense of safety, to a sense of like the worst is behind you. And that's really like the message of the Six of Swords. You are putting yourself in a safe place. The worst is behind you. Then we have the confirmation that the worst is indeed behind you here with the Ace of Wands. So we have two Aces. So this tells us, yes, this is a new beginning for you, right? This is like a lot of new energy. This is an, it's like, it's clarity and passion. So we have this creative spark. You know, it's like you coming out of a, a like a darker situation. You can see now the light at the end of the tunnel. And not only is this sense of safety, it actually, you feel so inspired of starting new projects. You have uh, new businesses, new creative endeavors, whatever the case. And some of you to be all of this together. You have so many ideas. You just, you know, it's like they're bubbling around you. It's like... You have to write them down. Yeah, that's what I have to tell you. Please write all of your ideas down. Just to, you know, you have a journal, call it ideas journal, right? And just write it all down because even if uh, you forget in the next five minutes, like one day later or one week later or even one year later, you'll read it back and say, oh my God, still a brilliant idea. And then you have probably the resources or the strength or the support to carry it through. So what we have here is a, like a brand new start. Yeah. And 
probably you also feel a bit impatient because with the six of swords it's like uh oof, it's 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 also a bit of sadness involved here because you're leaving something behind but you're still healing and it's also like it's all those swords energy is quick but this leaving it behind it hasn't been like a quick process right and actually you want to feel be feeling good immediately and everything is fine immediately and you'll still be acting that way but uh what i'm seeing here give it like to your inner self to your inner life give it space give it room for it to heal properly as well okay so be all active do the things go after your dreams amazing but also find that balance to give yourself some room to just relax okay then we have number 22 intention so this is the egg of the new beginning right and with intention yes you have a new intention you are already running to the next project project and the project could be just moving house and redecorating something whatever the case it's like you are fully inspired and the here is like there's so many possibilities there's so many dreams that can come true with the 22 with these four four is stability is you coming to stability so here you are at this pedestal and the egg is safe and and uh, stable so stable that an owl can land on it <laughs> can park on it but um so you feel very excited and then again we have the ace of wands energy but remember when i told you with the with the six of swords to give it time because there's here a sad embrace so this is a saying goodbye to a period of your life this is saying goodbye to something that could have been very difficult and that's why it still hurts or could have been even you know a both of difficult but precious to you as well and um but it's like there's there's uh, finding balance between these two energy energies yes so the the excitement of the new but also kind of mourning the the past you know give it a proper burial so to say in your heart that's why i was saying like give it room give it space don't ignore it you know just allow it to be if it pops up then we have 50 angel of strength and this angel of strength here, if, uh, it reminds us, of course, of the strength card in the tarot. The strength card is dealing with your uh, demons, right? Finding that balance, not being a slave to passion or to paranoia or to any kind of uh, depression. You know, it's like finding that balance. And I, I think that is exactly what you're doing this week. You're finding that balance. You're, you're getting a lot of strength. And also this strength is here to support you in your decisions because you're going to need the strength to carry them through and um, and to go into this new life, you know, full of joy. So you need strength for that as well. And this you're having it this week. So you have like all this support, emotional support, psychological support this week. And... Uh, just go for it. Your life is changing in a very positive way. And sometimes we can be nostalgic or a bit saddened about, you know, the past. But it's fine. Just allow it to be. It's part of who you are and who you are is beautiful. So that is also beautiful. So allow it to be. Allow it to come up if it comes up. But then, you know, I think this fire, this to new beginning here is a lot stronger. So and... um and it's going to be a very exciting week for you, pile number three. So when it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? When it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week, pile number three? Well, give your relationship a chance. Unrequited love. And... Give me a second. And what else? For pile number three, when it comes to love. Calling your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. 
when we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Now, interesting, right? So, duh, again, here different scenarios. So please take what makes sense for your personal situation. So it could be that many of you are in a relationship right now. This is probably the issue that you have to leave behind. You know, it's like deciding... Should I give a chance to this? Although I feel that all my effort, all my caring, uh, all my, my affection is not being requited the way I feel it should be. And uh, instead of that, should I go, you know, and try to find a new partner? So for some of you, it will be kind of this dilemma this week. For others of you, it's like what you feel is in requited love. It's like is a, a misunderstanding in communication. And then you should really, you know, make an effort to make this work, you know, because there is love here. There is true love. So please take this as it resonates for you best. For those of you, if you're single, you know, it's like... If you're single, that may be that there's some hurt here from the past, and that you're not very open for love right now because you think that whatever you do, you're going to repeat some of the patterns of the past or that, you know, you're not going to be loved back the way you'd love to be. OK, but as the cards are saying, if you stay positive, if you believe, then true love is coming. OK, so it should be also like a change of mentality here, a change of attitude towards yourself. It does, it's like it's needed that you understand that you are lovable and that you are amazing. And it's like for others of you that are looking for love and maybe you're fixated on a certain person, it's really asking you, is it worth it to be fixated on that person if that person is not really giving you the time of day? Uh, if that is the case, I don't want to be too blunt, because they're telling you there's true love waiting for you all around the corner. So, but there is a burning heart here. So I understand ever unfolding and gathering courage. Yeah, say gathering courage to say yes to love. And there's the possibility of being together forever here. So, yes, there's a lot of love in your heart and even for some of you waiting for you. So it's the possibility that things can unfold, things can become better, that all the possibilities are there for you. Just, you know, go for it. Try it again. Be open for it. If It's some, something that you really want. And this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you.